I'm with Nissan Executive Vice President Andy Palmer at the launch of the all-new uh, Note. Uh, Andy, thank you very much for having along as long once again for a quick chat. Um, no worries. Um, well, first of all, uh, just tell us about the new car. What, what do you, you think about it? And what, what stands out about it? Well, I think the, the the car almost speaks for itself. Frankly speaking, it's gorgeous, which is uh, was part of the the raison d'être for the vehicle from the very beginning. Is uh, basically to make a beautiful motor car, and you can see the effort that's gone into in, in, into making it into a beautiful uh, B segment uh, uh, motor car, particularly with the uh, the way that the grille. Uh, breaks into the light. I think this makes a very unusual, uh, very unique mask of the car. Um, looking at the swash line, as we call it here, the feature on the side, normally cars in this segment are a little bit bland from the side, so we wanted something that stood out from the side. And obviously at the rear with the uh, rear combi lamps, we also have something that's, uh, th that's really quite exciting to look at. So from a, from a design perspective, there's a lot going for the, for the car, but, but it goes way beyond that. I mean, this is stacked full of uh, of innovation also. Obviously Nissan about innovation and excitement for everyone. You'd expect to see that innovation in the car. So here you've got uh, downsized technology, lightweight uh, cars, great aerodynamic uh, and giving you great fuel economy without the premium price of a, of, of a hybrid. Uh, clearly you've got other technologies in here like the around view monitor, uh, idle stop, start stop, again for fuel, good fuel economy. Really it's stacked full of you know, really technology, which is two segments above. Now, also for Nissan, this is part of the uh, the expansion of I mean, Power 88 and the, the big growth plans. How does this model fit in from the from the long mid-term perspective? Well, clearly, um, this is one of the, the vehicles that we call global growth models. So it's one of our 10 key products for the future. Uh, we, we think that we're going to be selling orders of magnitude 350,000 of these around the globe uh, clearly one of our largest volume cars uh, and clearly those, those, those volume cars somehow define the brand to, to, to the most of people uh, but these really define on a day-by-day -day basis what the brand stands for innovation excitement and in this case very much for everyone this is a very affordable motor car but on the other hand it represents the best of Nissan Monazukuri and just as a, a final question, I mean, this today we've launched the Japan version, but we're also playing derivatives of this, I think you said earlier, for the North America and, and for Europe. Will they be very similar or will there be subtle differences for the different markets? There's always going to be differences per market. I mean, it would be an extremely arrogant product planner that could tell you you can have one car globally. A and we're not. I mean, again, our brand positioning statement is for everyone. So clearly we're listening to the customers in each of our main markets and we're adapting the vehicle to their needs. Now, obviously from a design perspective, the vehicle doesn't change significantly market to market, but you will see differences market to market. Uh, for example, in the type of engines that we use and in some features of the design, which will be a little bit different market to market. Tune to the customer needs, tune to the customer tastes, but basically, you know, execution of the best compact car that Nissan can bring to the market.